All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Raiders Daily, where we post daily Las Vegas Raiders content. If you enjoy this video, you enjoy daily Raiders content, hit that like button, hit that sub button. The Raiders made a trade, man. It has been move after move after move all off season, and to be honest with you guys, I'm loving it. Now, Brian Edwards was traded, and the seventh round pick uh, in next year's draft for the Falcons, fifth round pick in next year's draft. Here's the bottom line. So many people are confused at this move, and this is one of the reasons why I strongly urge the drafting of a wide receiver at the very least, but this is why I've been making so many signing videos for a veteran wide receiver who has gas left in the tank, a guy like Julio Jones. I'm not saying the Raiders need to go out and sign Julio Jones, but here's the bottom line. This is a cold, hard truth. Any player in the John Gruden era is probably gone. Not only does that, that's how it works in every sport. Every single sport. You got a new GM, you got a new coach, you got a new everything. Those aren't the guys they wanted. Like, I would imagine if the Raiders nowadays went back to the 2020, 2000, or sorry, the 2019 NFL draft, and they had the pick where Brian Edwards was about to get drafted, there is no way, shape, or form that is who, like, it's two different people, two different GMs, two different tastes, two different outlooks on the team. Like, it's, that's what happens. Every single sport, you got a new GM in town, bye-bye anybody who was on the roster, like, Maybe maybe the guys who are like, you know, the best of the best. But guys like Brian Edwards, you know, there's a reason the Raiders went out and signed Keelan Cole. There's a reason they went out and got Johnson. There's a reason they went out and they got so many young wide receivers. Maybe they're not going to make, you know, maybe Keelan Cole isn't going to make the biggest impact. He might not. That's another reason why I want the Raiders, and I'll be making more videos, especially after this trade, where it's like, I like Brian Edwards, but he's not consistent. He was never consistent. And so you add in the fact that, you know, the inconsistency, you know, the inability to consistently get around corners, like create space for yourself, um, you know, you combine those two and it's, it's goodbye. But I still think the Raiders need to go out and make a, a, a signing at the wide receiver position. I think they have enough, like Devontae Adams, Darren Wallen, um, Hunter Renfro. Like that's why, you know, Hunter's unbelievably consistent, right? So I, I wouldn't be surprised if you go out and you get a bigger name. Um, probably won't happen until June 1st or June 2nd, whatever the day where the Raiders, you know, clear some contracts and you have, I think it's like over 20 million or it might be 20 on the dot, but you got $20 million um, in cap space that you're creating. So. You know, this move was super surprising to a lot of people. I never really understood it. Last season, you know, he started in 12 games, played in 16, caught 34 catches for 571 yards, three touchdowns, 16.8 yards per reception. Solid, but it's not who the new guys want. And so until they prove me wrong, I'm going to trust the Raiders management. I'm going to trust their GM and the moves that they're making, getting the guys that they want. That's why you went out and you saw the Jared um, or the Jared Stidham trade yesterday. I even, I never heard of that guy until the trade. Uh, but that's why you went out and got that, right? Yeah, you have Mullins. You have Carr. <laughs> Obviously, you have Carr. But, you know, these guys like McDaniels, you know, this is a former Patriot. This is a guy who knows him. This is a guy who knows what he wants, you know, both ways. So I expect more moves like this, uh, you know, next couple of weeks, next couple of months, next couple of years even. So it's just, you know, it's undisputed fact. This is what happens. So hit the like button, hit that sub button, but most importantly, go ahead, drop an opinion, drop a comment down below on your thoughts on this trade. I'll see you guys later.